Zack Snyder was just on JRE, and you guys need to watch this clip. James James Gunn really <laughs> needs to watch this clip because what Zack Snyder says here could have a massive impact on the future of the DCU. So let's check this out right now. I, w I, I was a Frank Miller fan for a long time, right? And I, I thought the fr I thought I would do another i thought i would do dark knight returns frankly that was the movie i wanted i still want to do it i, I always tell everyone he I still do. wants to do returns. dark knight returns if i could do dark knight returns i'd be done with comic book movies <laughs> really <laughs> well because like if you've done watchmen oh sorry i'm banging the mic That's if, if, if you do watchmen and dark knight returns like for me you're good you're good your legacy is set so mm. like batman versus superman literally steals a lot of dark knight returns i'm not gonna say it didn't it did but it's still Definitely not did. Dark Knight Return, so. Boom, right there. The reason why Batman v Superman was the way it was was simply because Zack Snyder wanted to make Dark Knight Returns. He just wanted to make that movie so badly, so he put in every element from that movie that he could cram in there, even though it shouldn't have been in there. Just because he wanted to do a Dark Knight Returns, he thought, hey, this is my chance to do Dark Knight Returns, so I'm going to do as much of it as I possibly can. You're starting out a universe and you got an older Batman, which made absolutely no sense. Why, why are we having this storyline? Listen, I actually like Batman v Superman when it came out. I liked it. I liked the symbolism in it. I liked the ideas in it. I thought it was cool. But was it a muddled mess that shouldn't have taken place? I, I, absolutely. <laughs> it, 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 that movie should not have existed in the DCU, especially when you're trying to build a universe. Made absolutely no sense. And the reason why is because Zack Snyder wanted it. They trusted the director's vision. The director had a unique vision and a, a di certain direction they wanted to take, and they trusted that and went with it. Why is that significant? Well, James Gunn said the same thing. I knew that this was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to do something very different. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique and something special. Yes, the creatives should be the ones in charge of being creative. The, yes, I get it. The executives shouldn't be pulling all the strings because they don't understand the stories. They don't understand what the fans want. They're just after the money, right? So I understand the writers and the directors should have the creative power. But the thing is, there should be a plan. There needs to be a plan. You can't just, hey, this director has a unique vision and I find that interesting. So, hey, let's go ahead and let them try it out. Because what happens? You get Star Wars. You get, you get Disney Star Wars. You get the sequel trilogy. Who knows? James Gunn may have an outline, may have a perfect plan, but I don't know that yet. So, this is my, this is my message of warning. Don't, you can't put all, all that power onto the director. You can't say, hey, I want... I want these writers and these directors, I want to showcase their unique visions. I don't want that. I don't want that. And you shouldn't want that because something like this could happen. What happened with the DCEU? Because otherwise we may end up in a similar situation where you have the death of Superman, Doomsday, the Dark Knight, all <laughs> these different storylines crammed together in one movie just because the director had that vision. He wanted to see that on screen. And I'm not saying that's what's going to happen with the DCU. It's just a message of warning. These characters need to stay true to who they are. They can't change. The stories can't change from, from director to director because they have a different unique vision. A director shouldn't be given the power to change a character because he sees the character in one way. You can't leave it all up to the director of that one individual movie and that set the tone for the rest of the DCU. No, the idea for that character needs to be in place and it needs to be consistent moving forward. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. What do you guys think? I think this is a lesson that James Gunn really needs to understand. He may understand it already, but he needs to know this. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Were you a fan of the DCEU and the way Zack Snyder did things? Or do you want to see the DCU do things just a bit differently? Let me know your thoughts down below and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, bye-bye.